We're going to use this surface from Dollar Tree. All right, I love, they have so many different surfaces now, plain surfaces for you to use. We're gonna decorate this up a little bit with stamping. You don't have to do that stuff. I'm just gonna use, I'm just gonna, and I'm just gonna use my fingers to do the one little stamp around, and I'll show you why. Okay, we're gonna use this. We're gonna use little stones. We're going to use a little bit of this Excelsior, I think. And we're going to use some jute. I think we're gonna start, start with this just because, let me show you. I'm going to use the Distressed Oxide. This color is Gathered Twigs. I don't, I want to keep this really natural. Um, so, and I would like to see this a little more. So I'm going to, you could dip it in like coffee grunge or something. That might make it a little dark. I'm going to rub it across this Distressed Oxide and add a little color to it and then we'll let it dry. So let's, Oops, I'll have to grab that up later. But just, I'm just rubbing it across. Just to add a little color to it. And then I'll give it, that gives it a chance to dry. But you can see the, can you see the difference in there? I don't know if you can see the difference, like right, especially there between those colors. I'm just gonna grab it, maybe do a little more. I'm not sure how much I need. I actually have some done, so maybe I'll, this should be plenty. Okay, so let me just cut that piece off. You gotta get crafty, Vicki, yes. That's the way I always feel, I pick up so much and then I don't actually use it because I always have other ideas. All right, so we're gonna, um, well actually we're gonna use this in a minute. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, the Waverly Wax in these grooves just to make them stand out a little bit more. And I'm just gonna keep it easy on how I do it. I'm gonna use Waverly Wax. I'm gonna use a paintbrush. I'm gonna wipe it a little bit with a paintbrush here that's very stiff. Guess what I did with it. All right. I'm just gonna wipe it in between there just to get it down in that groove. Last week when I did it on that easel, I did it with a Q-tip too that worked somewhat. And I'm just gonna take this and wipe that up. And you can see the difference. It just makes it a little bit darker. Just add it in here. And you can do so much with these surfaces from Dollar Tree. There's so many ideas. And this one, like I said, I want to keep it more natural. But you could paint up the ship lip whatever color you like. And I just want that little dark in between. And we'll put it on here. If you wanted, you could go around the inside edge here too. I've got a little something else we're gonna do with that, with the stamping and using that Gathered Twigs ink. The stamp I'm using is from close to my heart, but you might have stamps of your own that would work for something like this too. All I'm going to do for that ship that part. Oh, and I forgot my microphone. Can you all hear me okay? Hi, Brenda. How are you doing? I totally forgot my microphone. It's plugged in. It, it's it's charging. It should be ready. All right. So I'm just grabbing a little stamp, and I'm using, again, this Gathered Twigs Distressed Oxide. I don't want it extra bright. More copper. Colored metal square. That is just plain grid. That sounds interesting, Vicki. 
You just woke up, Brenda. You're more on the West Coast, aren't you? All right, so the one I'm using is from Daisy Daisy set. Look how cute, the, can you see how cute those are? I've used this one quite a few times already. Um, but I'm just using, if you can see down here, this little leaf part. That's all, that's all I'm using and I'm just using my fingers to do it. And the reason why I'm using my fingers instead of putting it on a block is because I'm gonna get it right up to these edges and I'm not going to be able to do that. Okay, that makes sense, Brenda. Well, yeah, you would be just waking up. All right, so all I'm gonna do is dab this onto here. <coughs> Excuse me. And I mean, I want it right up to that top edge. And once you put it down, don't move it. But then lift it up, and then I'm gonna take it and do it again, and it's gonna be a little bit lighter. Look at how pretty that is. All right, so we're gonna do that around on here. And you can even do it a third time, I'll show you. It's once, twice. Let's do the third time over here. And each time it'll get a little lighter, but it's just so pretty. It, it's so pretty. So we're going to do this around. Where did you get the, oh, the, okay, this isn't stencil. It's, it's acrylic stamps. This is with Close to My Heart. I'm a maker with them. So if you message me, I can get you my link directly for these stamps. Um, and for the month of March, the, there's always a stamp set that you can get um, for $5. That if you spend $50, if you're not a VIP member of my page, you, you can get, um, there's the cutest stamp set for the month, month of March. If you're a VIP member and you spend $50, you get it for free. And if you, are not, let's see, I'm gonna do it over here. I'm just doing this while I'm talking. Um, if you're not a VIP member and you spend $50, you can get that March stamp set for $5. And it's a big set like that too. It's really, really cute. It's the little like hedgehog and cute little things like that. I showed it last week. So if you're, if you're thinking of going on and getting this Daisy Daisy, maybe pick up an ink pad or two um, or a couple markers and add to it and get that a stamp of the month too. It's it's a big set that you get. All right, I'm doing a couple that are, um, that I'm re-stamping so they're dark next to each other like that. And then I'll just do one in the middle. It is a good deal. And especially to that VIP club, you spend, now I have to think, you spend $35 to join the VIP club for a year. It's an annual membership. You spend $35 to join that VIP club. You get a $10 credit back right away towards a future purchase. And each purchase that you make, you, I have to look back because it's been a while since I said it. I believe you get 10% credit towards future purchases also. So it really is a good deal. And they have some exclusive things that the VIP members can get. Um, they actually treat, treat really, really well. But unless at the March, the stamp of the month each time, you have opportunity of getting free if you're a VIP member. So it just depends how much you stamp. So I'm not doing any rhyme or reason of whether I'm doing dark or light. It's just adding, just adding that around in a circle and then we'll add on our stones. Yeah, Dana, it's, it's really a good deal. It really is a good deal. Especially like I said, that VIP club, it, for $35 and you get $10 credit back towards future purchases. Let's just add another one out 
here. Good morning, Susan. My mom is doing okay. She's doing okay. Thank you for asking. All right. And I am too. <laughs> I am too. I saw you ask that. All right. So let's just... I like doing even that third one just to add that extra little light. You could even do some in the middle if you want, but on this part, I really think I just want it almost as a frame is what I'm getting at. Good morning, Jennifer. Let's do another dark one. You're going to get a little bit on your fingers as you're doing it, if you're doing it with your fingers. Like I said, the only reason why I'm doing it with my fingers and not acrylic block that you put it on is because I want to get right up to the edge. I could by moving the stamp farther away on the acrylic block, I could do that, but it's just as easy to do it this way. Okay, I think, I think I'm done. Isn't that pretty? Really pretty. And it's just that subtle look and I want this real natural looking. You'll see why. Maybe wipe, wipe up my stamp. All right, we're done with the stamping. I'm gonna start putting it together. I have a good. Good morning, Mr. Crafty Servings. <laughs> almost done painting. Literally painted almost all our house. We have a couple rooms that I didn't want painted, but he painted a lot. And I painted some of the trim. I painted a little more trim yesterday because we're painting light gray. It looks bluish in here. In our bathroom, it looks gray the way I pictured it, but it looks a little blue hinge, tinge, um, and then I'm doing white woodwork around the doors and windows. Yeah, it, oh, it does look burned on, right? It really does. You could do a whole, you could do a tree like that. All right, so let me show you. I went through and already picked out because I have a big, a, a box of stones. Um, you can get these, they're like river stones. You can get them at Dollar Tree. You can get them at Hobby Lobby. You can get them um, probably Dollar General. You can get them most places. And I went through and picked out ones that I thought were similar to try and make, we're making flowers on here. So let me, I'm just going to lay them out as I do it. We're gonna create three flowers and then three buds. Hello, Susan. And we're just gonna do little shaped flowers like that. And I have different colors. There, there are different colors within the bags when you buy them. So just hunt the bags, <laughs> go through stone by stone and find what's going to look good. So, and like I said, I'm, I'm sure you can get Riverstone at Dollar Tree. If you can't find the smooth one, then maybe look at Hobby Lobby or like Dollar General or Joann's. Go out in your driveway. We have snow again. You can't. It snowed overnight again. But nothing like the West Coast. I pray for those people. All right, so that one, I'm just laying it out the way I think I want. And then I've got three single ones that I'm just gonna lay in as almost like buds. Look at this one, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Not all of them look like that. So we're going to use that one. I think I use this one. And then shift this up and out a little bit. I just want to lay it out because we are going to use that jute that we colored with the distressed oxide earlier. We're going to use that as the stems. Put this up like this. So this is where we're at right now. 
Cash is doing much better. He was here at the beginning. Um, he's doing so much better. He was bad for a couple days, like really bad. Um, just so unlike him. I really believe he woke up with a pinched nerve or something is what I think he did because he was fine when he, when he went to sleep that night. All right, so I'm going to use type on. The reason why I'm using that is because I believe, um, I want to make sure that it's going to be clear, which the glue sticks that I have aren't, but I also want to make sure that these rocks are going to stick. So, um, I am going to add a stem before I do this. I'm going to add the stem because I want to put that under. Yeah, I think he's doing much, he, he, I know he's doing much, he's doing much better. Okay, so I'm going to add the stem, something like that, and I want that stem underneath this rock. And then we'll adhere the stem down the rest of the way. So the middle rock is where I'm hoping this is going to have a good stick. I could put a little hot glue to the outside. You can't, you can't put it together. You can't put, you can put a, the hot glue around the outside of what you're gluing. Make sure that's under there and press that in good. So make sure you keep commenting, all those comments and emojis, um, just tell Facebook that you like what I do and they'll push it out to more people then. So I appreciate it if you keep on. I will do random at the kindness drawing at the end and I scroll comments to pick that. So I appreciate when you do that. Thank you for passing me on. I appreciate it. Hello, Linda. Yes, thank you. Yeah, you can't tell what's wrong. And I said it's, he was just, it was extreme pain for him. And it was so unlike he wasn't, it wasn't hardly moving. Um, but it was, it was different. And, um, we had debated taking him to the vet, but we we're going to just wait and see because it's just how it happened. It just, he didn't do anything. So it got better. This is gonna be really, really cute, right? It's gonna be really cute. All right, so we got that stem. Let's add a stem under this one. And this middle one, some of them I have sticking up higher. But this one is a fun one because it's all rocky <laughs> for a rock. It's all bumpy and so it's sort of fun. I'm just seeing what way I want it. And also, if you're in a territory where it tends to get really, really hot, you definitely want something like this that will keep them on. I have so many of these stones because I like doing the clay flower pots and I, I use a lot of these so that's why I have so many of them but you can go out in your yard like I said if, if I didn't have all the snow I could probably find some cute ones not smooth like this but you certainly could do some cute ones without it being smooth If you're hopping on late, this was a Dollar Tree surface. If you like seeing what people buy from Dollar Tree, I showed my Dollar Tree haul at the beginning and I got a couple things from Hobby Lobby. I was proud of myself because I spent less than $20 in Hobby Lobby. 
I don't do that. And these are set up already really well. And then we'll work on gluing these down in a minute. And then we'll add what we're going to do is add a little bit of Excelsior down on the bottom. I don't want a lot. We're going to make just a real little bowl with something that will blend in with these colors. Oh, I do want to get this over here. Yeah, I was just so lucky to find this new, and uh, lucky to find this new Dollar Tree. I found out about it from somebody at checkout in Hobby Lobby. We were talking about, she was from a different city, and I was actually, it, it's called Sheboygan, she was actually from that area, and when I was talking, we were talking about different getting different craft things and I mentioned about our Dollar Tree just isn't that great and she said well yours is really pretty good and which surprised me um she said be that um except for a couple of them in Sheboygan and then she mentioned the one in Sheboygan is the biggest one around here like near us and I had never knew that one was there so I, I had asked her about it where because she was saying it was like on the north side I always go to the south side and that one isn't big, but um, I was, yeah. So that's how I found out, was talking to people in Hobby Lobby. Honestly, this is already set up over here. This, I'll show you this glue in just a second. Let me put this one down. I like using it on wood too. I use it for putting a lot of my wood stuff together and I show you that each time because it lets you move it around a little bit where hot glue you put it down and it's almost like an instant stick and you don't have the time to shift it um, where this does. Okay, so you can see this one I think needs a little more. That one's wiggly a little bit. These are a little bit wiggly yet. I think it depends upon the surface you're doing it. These are really pretty good over here. It depends on the surface you're doing it on. All right, so I'm going to cut another a little one here to put under this stone. There. I have almost a perfect amount here. So let me know on there what y'all are working on crafting in the comments what you're working on or what you'd like me to work on I'm always willing to try something new I I still talk about my experience doing felting on here <laughs> that was that was something um, if you follow Pinterest TV I'll be on Pinterest TV on Thursday. Um, people have asked how I made the gnome feet. If you weren't on my live on here and doing gnomes, doing gnomes feet and noses and ears, um, I'm doing that on Pinterest Live TV. Um, on Thursday, I have to look at the time. I think 11 o'clock maybe, Central Standard Time. Um, 
And then Monday again at night, I think it's like nine o'clock at night, I'm going to actually put together the gnome again. So you're working at Easter and that's, yeah, I think um, I should be doing more of that too. And that's why I'm gonna paint that Easter gnome later today from, that's from Dollar Tree or from Hobby Lobby. Okay, now you can see how quick, it does really set up pretty good. I'm not gonna put it all the way up, but those I just put on, it sets up pretty good. Isn't it looking pretty? So it's not gonna take much for us to finish this off. I'm gonna, I want these stems to lay down flat. I'm gonna just add little spots. Let's see, I think I'm gonna do this. If I had a toothpick, I, um, I'll do just the back of a paintbrush. I think that'll look up better. This is just so thick to squeeze all the different places. I always store it down too like this. Um, let's use the back of a paintbrush. And I'm just gonna put a little in places just to hold this down flat. Honestly, I probably could get away with using the, it's not really sticking on there. That's not working. I hate to use the hot glue because you see the spots of that. Let me just see. This dries clear. Susan and again people ask all the time about where you get your inspiration I can tell you the inspiration on this one now too this isn't easy using this glue on here the inspiration for this one was when I went to visit my mom this weekend we usually take a walk around and we talk to other residents so, um, and a couple of them look, it looks so forward to that. You know, you stop in, she, the one always wants to show me her puzzle that she's working on and she gets so excited. She can't talk very, very much, but because she had a stroke. So, but she fixed this puzzle and she gets so excited and, and her words are like, yay, and look at, and she just touches and she just shows her expression. And she had a picture in her room that somebody did for her of just like one flower and maybe, I think maybe two of these little, little ones like this. And they, and it was just a hand drawn on canvas and it was just a hand drawn with um, a marker, the stem. So that's, that was my inspiration. It was just so cute. And I told her, I said, surely I do crafts for a living. I would like to take a picture of this if you don't mind, and I'll show you what I do with it. Oh, and she was so excited that I told her that. So now I'm gonna have to take this in and show, show them. No, it's the same sound. And no, it's the same sound, Susan. I'm not sure. Like I said, I really want these down. And then we're gonna clip off these bottoms. Let's do this one next, this big one. You could leave them loose if you want. But I like that they'll be flat and not as messy. And then we're not gonna cover up this bottom completely. We're just gonna add a little bit of Excelsior. Some of these I'll cut as it go. Yeah, 
it's the same one, Susan. It's the same one. I thought it was funny yesterday. I just noticed, and I know I've said before, a clock doesn't always ding the right times. And yesterday, it was one o'clock in the afternoon. And I don't know what made me listen to it. It it was dinging. It dinged twelve times. <laughs> it was one in the afternoon. It just it has a mind of its own. Yeah, they all have different chimes, but no, this is the same one we've had. It's the same one we've had. This one a little shorter too, and then I'll cut down on some of those. Cutting it just above, set that fit in here. Let's just do this one a little more. Okay. Yeah, isn't this one that it? That's why it, it's just so natural. I don't want to use anything bright. I toned down the jute a little bit at the beginning by, um, and the jute isn't that bright anyhow, but I wanted to um, make it a little bit darker so you saw it, but not too dark. And so I added the gathered twig distressed oxide to it that I rubbed it on. This is not working very well. Okay. Okay, if any of them aren't completely set up, they'll they'll tell me right now. But this is what I got so far. You know, I don't even know that I want much. I won't add much accessor if I necessarily. I may just see what it is. Is that pretty? That is so pretty. I love 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 it. I may not add the accessor. Let me show you the little bowl I'm gonna make though. So and that's just a Dollar Tree surface that I stamped on. And it was a simple little stamp that I used my fingers to, to stamp with. All right, so this is just a homespun fabric. It's almost like your gray topa. Look at it. it. It'll look really pretty. It's not going to stand out a lot. Um, we're just going to make a little, little bowl with that. Let's just do three. And what do I have to add to it too? Thank you, Rebecca. If you like it, please, please, you know, comment emojis, spread, spread the word onto your page what I do. I'd really appreciate it. All right, so I'm just gonna take another piece of that jute. And I don't think you're even gonna see it, so it doesn't matter if it's the dyed jute or not. This together just a little simple raise I don't want anything stiff uh, just something a little fun and just a little color okay. and I can trim it down if it's a little too long thank you Patty I appreciate it thank you Kathy for passing me on and Linda thank you thanks Teresa so easy like I say you get your inspiration from some things I should show you a picture of um, the picture that I took from from her um, room. Like I said it didn't use, it was just a little white canvas and it used a magic marker to draw the stem and it had the flower at the top of it. It was just simple and pretty um, but I wanted to do my take on it. So uh, that that's my inspiration for this project. And Dollar Tree, you can't go wrong using Dollar Tree. Just a simple little bowl. I'm just gonna put it like right up here. It's nothing that's gonna take a lot away. 
I don't know that I'm going to put an excelsior on the bottom. I actually don't know that I'm going to do that. All right, I'm going to put that right on the top. Thank you, Brenda, for passing me on. I appreciate it. Could have used the hot glue for that. I'm gonna use the hot glue for the um, button. I have a little button, just one that is going to blend in with everything else. I don't want it to stand out much. So. Thank you, Vicki. Yeah, I'm just going to see about the Excelsior. I'm going to just put a little down there like I'm saying, like I was thinking, but I may, I like how this ended up down here when I was playing with it. You know, you had all that loose jute. I wasn't liking it, but that's because it was loose. That's why I wanted to end it down. Isn't that cute? I'm going to take off this tag up here. Again, Dollar Tree surface, Dollar Tree, and I have the beads already on. That is just so cute. I love it. I could stamp a little saying on here yet if I wanted, but I just think that would take away from it too. Um, let me just take the, a little bit of Excelsior and just see what it'll look like. I wouldn't do much. I don't want it to cover things, but it would add a little bit of texture it would add a little bit of texture. What do you think of that on there? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Opinions. Okay, let me know. Do you like that? If I just add that little bit of texture. So why don't you comment on here? Uh, yes, if we should add it or no. Doesn't it? It does look like it would come from a Hobby Lobby or something, right? 